Hey everyone, it's Maria Sato Witch Tracks here. Today I'm actually going to be continuing with the YouTube Pagan Challenge. Unfortunately, I forgot to post a video last week, so I'm going to be posting two this week. I'm actually right now, this is going to be number 11, which is, What Does the Sun Mean to Me or You? Excuse the mess back there, I am doing laundry right now and that includes bed sheets because those need to be washed too because they can get pretty dirty and nasty when you're sweating at night and gross. Ugh. Anyways, so those are downstairs currently in the dryer tumbling around and I didn't feel like waiting for them to come out of the dryer and then putting my bed hole back together before making this video. So I figure, you know, I do this while laundry's going and then I'm going to go play video games after this. <laughs> so trying to, you know, time manage over here. <laughs> so. What does the sun mean to me? Well, coming from a Wiccan background and in my studies, the sun has always been a very masculine figure. The sun has always very been has always been something that I try to draw strength from. Something that I feel brings out my Leo because the Leo is very associated with the sun. It's associated with the sun and strength and pride and confidence and that's what I get from the sun because when I'm the sun I feel amazing I feel great I feel just the heat and the warmth radiating and like going through my bones and giving me some vitamin D or helping me to create vitamin D and so that is why I get a very masculine view of the sun and so when I look at, at the sun I don't necessarily think God Sometimes I do, it depends on what context I'm in or where I am in my life, but I think of it as a very masculine, strength-giving, bearing figure. And I kind of want to be able to get out of that mindset and to think, you know, the sun could be a woman also, just because maybe it's because, you know, I am a woman and I resonate so closely or clearly with the sun, maybe it's because I'm a triple Leo, and so that means my moon, sun, and rising sign are all in Leo, and then was it Venus or Mercury or was the fourth, the other planet, the major planet, that one's also in Leo. So four of my major, so moon, sun, rising, and I think it was Venus, are all in Leo. <laughs> and then a lot of my planets are in Earth signs, like a lot of them are in Capricorn, so it's a weird little mix going on there. But that is, so when I'm in the sun, I, I think of that in my mind, because, you know, when I think of Leos, think of, you know, the yellow color of the lion's fur, think of strength, you know, lions being prideful, that kind of thing, and that's kind of the same gist I get from the sun, or when I'm in the sun, and I feel, you know, I feel its strength radiating in me, and so I'm trying to, I haven't really done much research, but I really want to look into goddesses who are associated with the sun, goddesses who draw the strength from the sun, because as far as I know, there's not a lot, not a lot, not a lot. I'm sure there's some out there. I honestly have not done deep enough research into doing this, but I wasn't really prompted to think outside of my normal views until I just started making this video. <laughs> so almost right now. <laughs> but. That is what the sun means to me. It is something that I draw strength from. And I am a morning person. I am a daylight person, uh, especially with my job, because I have to get up around 4.30 in the morning. And that means I usually go to bed between 9.30 and 10 o'clock at night. But when it gets started, it's getting dark, I get sleepy. But it hasn't always been like that. Honestly, when I was younger, high school, uh, undergrad, uh, college, I was very much a night owl. I would stay up late to do homework. I wouldn't get up early to do anything. I would much rather stay up late than wake up late or as possible and uh, stay up with the moon and not really be in the sun. But it wasn't really until I started doing yoga and I started waking up in the mornings and you know my first urge in the morning was to do yoga. And so I would go out when it was warm outside in the summertime. I'd go out in my when I lived at my parents' house. I'd go out to the front yard to the patio or at my old apartment I go out on the balcony and I would do my yoga practice in the sun and it just, I just felt drawing strength from it that way. I mean yes being in the sun I mean heat can be exhausting after a while but initially 
it's very strengthening. So I'm going through my vinyasas, I'm going through my asanas, all these poses, and I'm drawing in the strength of the sun, and it makes me feel great. It also made me feel more invigorated as well. And so, all these things we normally associate with masculinity and the god, and so, it's just really interesting how these binaries are occurring within my practice, and just for the sake of switching things up, I want to try and, you know, find some feminine figures associated with the sun. I think, shoot, not Sekhmet, Sekhmet, no, I mean, I kind of, honestly, I kind of associate Sekhmet with the sun, even though she's not the Egyptian goddess of the sun, but she has a lion head, and so being the Leos and the sun, you know, I kind of associate her with sunlight, and the the strength of the sun. Not necessarily the warmth because she's a scary goddess. I've only, I don't think I've really truly encountered her, but the vibes I get from people I know who have encountered her, kind of like, ugh, <laughs> she's a little intimidating. And so, I kind of associate her with the sun as well because she's a lion and also because of her strength. Sorry, that was my Xbox popping in the background. I told you I was play games later. <laughs> So these are, so this is what the sun means to me right now, and it's just really interesting trying to look uh, into why, you know, this is such a big effect on my life, because, you know, I've always been a Leo, I've always been a triple Leo, and the sun I never really associated closely with this. When I first started my practice, I was more in tune with the feminine, more in tune with the moon, the goddess, and now that I've started working more with gods and um, male deities, such as Shiva, especially, especially Shiva. Um, it's just really interesting how I'm now drifting towards more of the masculine in my practice a little bit. Not necessarily, because for the longest time, honestly, I was only really working with Shiva because of my yoga practice, and so it made me really more in tune with my masculine side, and then also when I used to do, I used to lift weights. So I used to do um, heavy lifting, and then with my yoga, I'd gain strength from that, also put me more in touch with my strength, physical strength and inner strength, which could put me more in touch with my masculinity, and now I'm okay with it. Like, I used to be really, I used to be really insecure about my arms, because they're pretty, I mean, they're kind of big, they're a little muscular, um, and so... See, I don't know, you see, like, <laughs> I got some guns over here, hey! But I used to be really insecure about them, because, like, when I was in um, high school and college, you know, I never really worked out. I mean, I didn't, but they were always that big. And then I started working, but then when I came more in touch with masculinity, um, I was like, let's get him bigger. <laughs> bigger. <laughs> sounds really ridiculous, but, so, that is, I guess, why I'm leaning more closely to the sun now, other than, like, you know, job become more of a daytime, I'm more of like, you know, drawing the sun's strength down into me, and I'm starting to find more of a balance now with masculine and the feminine, but it's just really interesting to see how my practice has morphed. And so now, yeah, I know I'm going off on tangents, so I'm going to go ahead and leave it at that, but if any of you know of any feminine deities who are explicitly, uh, what's the word, explicitly associated with the sun, then please let me know because I would like to look into them. Just to do research, I don't know if I would work with them per se, but I would like to do research into them. So I do thank you guys for watching, and please, if you have any thoughts about you know masculine sun, feminine sun, whatever, anything like that, I would love to hear them. Namaste, blessed be.